Yes. There are drums that come from the Congo, uh, so they're conga drums. Conga. Right. All right. How about this right here? Cajon. 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 Yeah, who said that? Mm. Exactly, bro. The Cajon. That's right. Cajon. And what's that that Brother Heru has? Saxophone. Saxophone. So, the story about these, right? Mm -hmm. The djembe used to be used for long distance communication. You would say, the emperor is coming. You would, you would use it on battlefields to be able to send signals to soldiers who were in the middle of war. Mm -hmm. It's meant to be a loud instrument, right? It's shaped kind of like a wine glass. Look at how the bottom has like a trumpet shape and it gets narrow here, then it gets broader up top, right? And that's so all that sound can come out just like a trumpet or like the front of the saxophone there, right? So the djembe is meant to be heard from a long way off, right? Mm. Congos on the other hand, right? They come from the Congo. They imitate local languages like Kikuyu, Kikongo. This does speak Wolof and uh, Susu, other languages from West Africa. But this one will say the vowels. You know how you say A E I O U, right? Ah. So it'll say those phrases. Whereas the gym baby, right? Like I say, it'll speak Wallow or Susu. You can say phrases like Aniso uh, Kuma. Way out on the battlefield or all the way down the riverbend to hear somebody signal it.